Hey, it's Joe Glines, and uh, I wanted to take a few minutes here to demo a script Maestroth and I wrote um, several years ago now. Uh, it's using the Pushbullet API. Um, so this is the the app, the program we wrote. Um, Pushbullet is a tool that for Android, you can automate texting through your phone from like your desktop. Um, it does a lot of other things too, but that's that's the main thing. So right here, I have uh, my cell phone. I'm using a program called Mobizen to display it on on the computer here so you can see it. This is actually my, my cell phone. Um, and this is the push bullet program you can download and in default it works fine. So let's say this is so I'm gonna send that to myself to my Google voice message. Um, that just sent now we should see here in Hangouts. It's gonna I see a notification here. Let's go to Hangouts. Um, should come through here in a second. Actually, what was interesting is I don't think I was a uh, I don't think I was on the right thing. Let me let me copy this. Um, I should have been here. Yeah. So this is this is my own number. So there we go. So now I'll do that. Hit send. So right now it's going to actually send that through my phone. So here you can see it come through. But let me demonstrate here. If I go to my texting on my phone, you'll see. Um, this was actually sent through my phone, right? So what's cool is I have all the history on my phone um, so it doesn't get really confusing. So this was sent to myself. Um, what we're gonna do here though, we're gonna use this app and we're gonna import. So let me go down here, import phone numbers. I'm gonna import this test list. So that was this file here and notice, and you know, if we bring this up over here, look, it's the same, same data, right? Um, so let me just, for simplification reasons, let me hide that, get that guy out of here for now. Um, and now we can come in here and I could write a message here. Hello world. Um, this is my same Google voice number. Hit this. I'm going to say send message. Um, this it's going to show you right here. See up all the message be sent. Hello world. Send message to one person. Yes. Um, it's sent. Hopefully this will show up. Here we go. There it is. This is my, again, this is. Um, that's actually, this is the weird part. That's my outgoing. Now, if I come into Hangouts, here is where I would have seen it pretend like it's from a different person, right? Um, this is my actual cell phone number, so I could text myself, uh, which sounds crazy. But what I want to demonstrate is here, hello world. Let's change that to hello. And then this is where, if I wrap it in percents, say name. So I'm going to say, uh, we got to, check this send message now notice here it says hello google voice right that's because under here the name i imported was google voice how are you and if i let me say no if i actually come into here and do it here send message it's going to say hello joe right so let's do that one it's going to send that to my own cell phone i i can't remember if that works oh look it does look, hello joe how are you right that's the text that I sent myself, but of course I wouldn't be sending myself text. Um, that'd be a little crazy, but um, that's the basic functionality, right? It's pretty cool. What you do is you uh, you get a token value from inside here. I don't want to show it, but you get your token value and you'd add it, add your token value here. And once you do that, now you can use our program to be sending people texts. Um, you know, it, you can whatever is a header. Um, that's what you can use percent signs to wrap around, and that will um, um, dynamically get it replaced in your message. Um, you can also like this was a list I just imported, so that was a list. Let me rename. Um, let's see here. Rename list. Test list. Okay, so now if I come in here and I can see test list and then the date, right? So I can switch between my lists. So we'll stick with that one. Um, I could add a person, so add a phone number, and here it's gonna give you the parameters. Fred, five, 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 dot, one, two, two, three, dot, da, 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 Tahoe. So they get added to here. I think we can actually delete, do we, let's see. Check only, check none. Um, all these, this stop sending. So if we had, if we said check all, and we said start sending messages, it would, as it's cycled through, we could hit this if we realize, oh, there's an error or why I want to stop sending. This is what you do to stop. Oh, also this down here, this delay, um, I noticed that 
at times, if I was sending a lot of texts uh, in a row and there wasn't any sort of a pause, my phone would actually just couldn't handle the volume and it would end up skipping one or two of them. So this delay is how many seconds in between the sent text it waits. And so I would recommend, you know, if you're on a good connection stuff, you know, five is probably fine, five to seven. Um, I, I've never had a problem with it with those. Um, we built in longer ones just in case you have a really bad connection and whatnot, but you, um, the default, I would say five or seven is probably fine. Um, let's see that, that you, you, what's cool is you can build in your own test number. And so even though whoever selected it, will send it to your test number and it'll remember that number for you if I remember correctly. Um, ba -ba -boom. the rest of the stuff is pretty intuitive. Oh, you can actually save, we could save the, oh, it looks, that's right. It looks for a folder. Let me, uh, bring it over here. So here's the script. It looks in this folder called messages. So all of these were messages that I had sent out at different times. And so like this was something we had we had done for people to, uh, I think it was for a camp out. Um, and it'll look in that folder here. So you'll see camp out and it would it see how it brings it in. So this way you can import basically put your list of texts that you want to send out here and have them in, um, available. So oh, and here look, I had first name up here and that notice that it's first name there, but but now my list is name. So I would want to update this to just name. Right? So it's not going to do that for you. But um, it's, it's pretty cool that you can uh, have a memory of the things you've sent before. Right, or actually you shouldn't say memory because it, it dynamically looks in this folder at every text file and just allows you to suck them in. Um, I can get rid of the vast majority of these now because I haven't, um, I was doing this for work and, and getting paid to, to send text to people. Um, let me see if there's anything else here. You can, uh, yeah, we talked about renaming the lists. It'll keep track of your list so you can switch between lists, which is really cool. Um, adding, the, most of the stuff is pretty intuitive. Um, I guess you could add a header and export people, but um, it's pretty awesome to be able to automate texting people. It's uh, it's much more responsive than email. And by saying, let's let's actually come back up to where's my, did I save the list? No, I, I didn't save the message, but let's just change it. So, hi, name, how are things in city? And I can just do a, uh, Let's let's do this one. Oops. Those two. So this this is my actual phone number. This is my Google Voice number. Um, I'm gonna say send message, and here we're gonna see the first one. It only does the first one. Hi Joe. How are things in Dallas? Right. And you notice here because Joe is in Dallas, and then Google Voice is in Kiev. So when we hit yes, it oh, and our sleep is seven seconds in between. So it's gonna send the first one, which which showed up into my texting because I sent it to myself. Now this message box is saying it's done. Um, so hi, Joe, how are things in Dallas? And then I should, here's our Google Voice one. Hi, Google Voice, how are things in Kiev? Right, so to me, this is it's just amazing, right? I use it for a lot of stuff and I still do use it, but it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. All right, cheers.